Modular is about an option, you know, a tool for helping families afford some housing. What was the time on that? 34. <laughs> Good information, though. Yeah. Okay. Good information, though. <laughs>challenging Navigate CEO Lisa McCarroll to a race against the clock to answer questions about modular housing. Lisa, are you ready? Ready. All right. Before we jump into those questions, can you introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Lisa McCarroll and I'm the CEO of Navigate Affordable Housing Partners. Uh, Navigate's a nonprofit based in Birmingham where we help revitalize communities, we own and manage housing, and we're government contractors providing compliance and oversight behalf of federal and state agencies. So today we're going to put Lisa's knowledge about an often misunderstood topic, modular housing, to the test. We're gonna put 15 seconds on the clock and your goal, Lisa, is to answer our questions before the clock runs out. So here's our first question. What is modular housing? Great. Modular housing speaks to homes that are constructed off-site in a controlled environment in sections, rooms if you will, and then assembled on site where it becomes just like a traditional stick build on a permanent foundation. How are we on time? 14 seconds. Yes. Awesome. What's the difference between modular and mobile homes? Oh, easy one. Modular is a process and mobile is about the actual product. Modular construction must meet the same state, local building codes and requirements as traditional site built homes. Uh, but modular homes are permanent and not movable after assembly. Are modular homes actually safe? Oh yeah, modular homes are extremely safe. They must meet the same safety standards for design and construction, strength, durability, roof load, wind resistance, thermal efficiency, just like a traditional stick-built home. Why build modular instead of stick-built homes? Oh, well, right off the top, environmentally friendly, uh, reduced waste of building and construction materials, uh, more energy efficient, which helps control utility costs for a family over time, and then those economies of scale, nonprofits and, and organizations can stretch their dollars a little further to meet the housing needs of their communities. The housing shortage in Birmingham is no different than what's happening across the country. And we're just trying to offer this uh, modular construction method built home as an option for helping families access housing that's high quality, but affordable. Yes, I know it went over. <laughs> <laughs> what will the modular homes Navigate is building look like? Oh, quite exciting. They're going to look like this. Now, these homes are slated for an older community. So while they have a modern feel, you'll notice that there's traditional elements like the large porches and the slope of the roof to blend into that existing neighborhood fabric. What would you like to say to people who are still a little bit unsure about modular homes in their area? Get out on the internet and do your research. Modular has been around for years uh, in other parts of the country. Um, we don't see it as the answer, more like a tool in the toolbox because it can be helpful in revitalizing a neighborhood and providing families with an affordable, high quality housing option. Very good. Time? 21 seconds. Dang. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Thank you.